I'm Frank Bluestein. How may I help you? Hi, Frank. Joe, I'm here to record our afternoon session on uh, the stock market. I want to get your thoughts. It looks like it's a good day. That's a relative term. If you're selling, it's a great day. It depends if you have something that's up and, you know, not necessarily a great day to um, – buy here because we've had a big update but you know but it looks good if you're looking at your portfolio and you're looking at our portfolios and uh, you've been doing what we tell you to do because you're probably feeling pretty good right now That's that would be true here yeah, yeah. And you had mentioned that there's a couple new ones that you wanted to tell everybody about which ones are they well you know, i don't again remember you got to be careful because we got to get them on the website and we're going to get them out but you know there's um i, I like this solar company and the symbol j-a-s-o it's a Chinese company that is um, uh, great on the solar side. And then, then again, um, they use photocells, the, the concept of having product and what's going on. And, and, uh, but, you know, Europe and, and China are really trying to adev- develop more on the um, solar energy piece. And I think it would be a nice stock to own, the symbol of JASO. Um, that's a good choice. I mean, we're going to put it up, so it will be one that we put in the jumpers. It, sure. it, has a great, it had a great pattern, uh, just split um, – four for one, so I just had a nice opportunity to buy, and I usually like to buy after a split, and uh, it's J.A. Solar, that's the name of the company, okay. and it's up a little bit today, I'm not jumping off the, the pace, but I, but I would really think it's a good stock to own, if you're going long on this stock, it's been as high as 25.50, and um, it's just a good opportunity to buy it right right here, I, obviously I prefer a, a weaker day, uh, so, you know, the, the oil stocks are down a bit today, so, um, but I would buy this under 18. It's under 18 right now, so that would be a stock you might want to look at. We, we've been recommending Rio, and I still love Rio, and it's really running. Uh, so people that have bought it should be extremely happy. And I think I'm gonna re, we're going to reintroduce, and I'm going to recommend this, is a company that I, I sold uh, called Billington, which is up today again, and that's the, the good news, bad news. So we sold it the other day at 75 bucks, and, um, you know, it's a great stock to own. Uh, what? Very low price to earning. Uh, the yield's not great on it, but it's a great company. It's Australia's virtual power in the um, in everything. I mean, they do they own everything. So, if someone is looking for a another way to be at, now, it's outside this country. It's not a U.S. company, but they've had great earnings. They've been a, a great uh, diversified resource group, and uh, it's a producer of energy-related products as energy, coal, liquefied natural gas, uranium. Um, uh, petroleum, aluminum, and uh, metals, diamonds. So, you know, those are the, the large caps of international companies that really withstand a, a very well in, against a, a market like ours. I mean, we had a, if you took a 12 month. Re- I'm sorry? I think you gave me JA Solar instead of JA. So, what are the markings on the other two? What's Billington? BHP. BHP. Okay. And I'd buy it under 70 and probably sell it at 80. Okay. And we're looking at Rio. That's our Rio. It is, and and we've been there before with Rio. Rio has been a um, a nice company to own. Currently today at thirty two fifty nine. It's getting close to a high, I mean, it's a, it's a great company, very reasonable PE. Decent again, another decent year company, a yield company. We've recommended this one for a while. It's had it in a nice run now. Um, it stayed up and went a bad market, so that's a plus. But I think you're going to see it break out here, so that would be a uh, an opportunity to buy. To buy even at 32 change. Yeah, I would buy it. I mean, it's it's a good long term hold too. It's a diversified metals and mining company again. Um, that's what they do. Rio de Janeiro, they're out of the Rio. You know, so you don't want to dance when you get it. What, so what's, it been going on with, what's been going on with your uh, uh, dividend portfolio? Unbelievable. I, you know, and I, we've been stretching it and, and stressing it and stressing it that you should own the dividend portfolios. And, uh, you know, some of the, the opportunities in the Canadian energy stocks just were phenomenal. I mean, you, you couldn't have um, asked for a better opportunity to buy them. So we kept stressing buy them, buy them, buy them, and, um, you know, avoiding the market when the market was bad. And now, you know, as I told you, step into the good companies here because some of these companies have sold off. Um, so, but anyway, the dividend stocks have all done great, and they've, um, I don't think we've had anything that hasn't done well on the dividend side. So you wouldn't have exper- you wouldn't have experienced all this this nightmare, you know, and you get to stay away from the nightmare. Sure. We uh, we were recommending HD, and I remember it was one of them or some of the others, you know. 
PVX, PGH. Um, those are th my favorites. Would be HT and, and PVH. So that would be the ones I'd, I'd recommend over anything else. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I know that HT has been having a very good run the last few days. You know, forty, fifty cents, sixty cents. It doesn't sound like a lot, but you know that's a lot of money when the stock's only twenty bucks. Well, it was twenty bucks. It's now almost twenty-five, isn't it? I, what I'm saying is, you know, those incremental thirty, sixty cents, you know, added up to five bucks over the last month. So that's well. The interesting part about that is, is, if for people that are, um, you know, that have been watching that stock, you know, or have been on it. I mean, I own a lot of it, so it's one of my, it's one of my pillars in my portfolio. You, you could have kept buying it all the way through here and uh, bought it all the way down, and it's starting to make its move back up. And when it gets near twenty-eight. We're going to probably say you might want to sell it, so we're going to be. We're, it's still a buy here, but it's getting to be more of a be careful because it's it's moving up so well, really moving up. Another another stock that fell off from all the way up into the 60s is the India. Now India is going to slow down, but India's large cap, uh, which we have in the dividend place, symbol IFN, it it really is a steal here. You got a PE of only two two, and uh, that's a little bit low. Um, mm -hmm. We talked about Frontline. Now, we told you to buy under 42. We probably have to adjust it because Frontline is working its way back into the 45 range here, and it still has some run to get to 47, 48. So all these cautionary moves, we got PVX under $12 on our screen. I, I really wouldn't miss it. It's, it's um, you know, if you can buy it anywhere at this level, it's, it's going to get to $12. But remember, it pays this wonderful dividend it's paid monthly. PWE was all the way down to the early low 20s. It's worked its way back to almost 27. PGH, which doesn't move a lot, pays a great dividend, is down in the mid-17s. And then even some of our you know, diversified dividend funds are still paying those nice dividends. They don't move as much, but PHT has come from nothing, and it's worked its way back to 16 and, and heading towards 18, which is an exit strategy. Um, RSO, big dividend, uh, that's a REIT, but it's, it's, you know, it has to distribute its money. MPW, wow, have we done great on that? All the way down. Mm. I mean, the dividend play, if you are a person that's afraid of the market, you want to be there. It's just been great. But now, again, it's starting to get to the point where you know, some of these are going to be profitable enough to take some bigger dividends, so those are your choices. But in the jumpers, you know, we've done great in the jumpers. We've given you some new ones and added some uh, opportunity, um, taken some out of there that we, we sold Apple at 200, and Apple's at one and a quarter. Is that is that something or what? Wow. Sold it. Now, here's an interesting one on the other side of that. We added some other plays in there that were, you know, kind of in the midway. We put TBSI on, which is a dry bulk carrier. It's gone nuts. I mean, it's done terrific. Uh, so it's a little out of range now from a price standpoint. Joy Global, which we told you to buy, now is running towards 100. That's a coal mining and equipment giant. So, so you, you know, you, you, if you're looking through this, um, the opportunities to buy, there's all kinds of them. And on the other hand, a lot of them are really moving up. You have to, you have to buy when you can. DSX, we say buy under 27. We're looking at 30 right now. I mean, it's at 30. Our, our exit strategy is 35, but... You, you really need to buy when you see it there. And I know that's um, – we're not telling you to jump off and buy out, put all your money there, but it, it added a whole new dimension, AMX. We had it at 57 just a couple days ago. Today it's almost $62. And, and that's what you get when you, if you play this type of portfolio. We're not um, – uh, our objective on the jumpers is to find – Microsoft, I think, is a steal in here. Um, $28, it's, it's looking for support up at this number, and it should get it. And if, if you would almost have to be – uh, you know, it would be almost impossible if you bought a stock like Microsoft at 28 or 27 to not see 31, 32. It would be impossible. Yeah. It will happen. So we've got some excitement. I mean, you know, that considering how volatile this market is, if you'd play our strategy and stay within our strategy, you know, VIP, um, Russian wireless company, and we told you to buy below 35, you had lots of chances to buy it. it it's going to run to 45, and it's, it's running right now. That's exciting. I mean, it's exciting and it's also profitable. Well, that's the name of the game, isn't it? I hope so. It's a question of you doing it. You know, okay. I mean, when I, I'm sure there are lots of people out there that are saying they're losing a lot of money, and I think the reality would be if they're not being patient, looking for good companies at the right prices, and um, exiting once they hit those numbers, that's not, that's not our fault. I mean, our, you, know, it's, you know, it's theirs. So we're going to continue to look for opportunities to buy. We're going to look for opportunities to sell, and we're going to weed out the ones that we just think, you know, 
it's not going to happen or it's not going to give you the return. And um, we're going to replace them with stocks that we think have uh, – and you remember, we're, and you, you know this when you look at the portfolio, that we have a lot of international stocks here. We've got diversification between healthcare care and um, other stocks in here. I mean, we try to give you – um, a good diverse base, so you don't, you know, remember you don't pick one. So, right. you know, the objective is to give you a diverse base with, you know, you know, give you some information on the stock without confusing you. I've seen a lot of websites that give you a million different um, things to look at, you know, I mean, and we really don't want to give you a million different things to look at because it'll confuse you. You know, we're not trying to confuse anybody. We're trying to um, give you some good selection and some good opportunities.